Welcome to my review of my Sora Shop made to measure display cabinet. So, uh, Sora Shop is somewhere in Europe, I can't remember where, maybe Germany. And uh, I'll tell you later because I'll take you through the specification and ordering process later on in this video. But uh, as you can see, it's an acrylic or perspex uh, display case. Uh, I've spec this out specifically model for model cars and I've um, decided on sizes and dimensions that are cost effective and that fit both 43rd, 43rd scale cars and 18th scale cars. Now at the moment you can see there are no 18th scale cars in it, it's purely 43rd scale. Um, but uh, if I look here, you've got an 18th scale, there's the Lamborghini Araco from one of my other review videos, and that would fit quite easily into one of these compartments. Uh, then you'd have space along the front for a couple of 43rds and at the end for a uh, another 43rd. Or you could just angle it quite nicely and just use the space. Um, so, But of course you get the choice to decide what specification you want and what dimensions you want. So with this particular design I've got uh, one, two, three, four intermediate shelves plus the bottom if you want to count that and one uh, it's actually a two column design there's one column there's the other column going down there and uh, but you you get this flat packed and you assemble it yourself so the first thing to look at is the front because the front comes off and you can see in the front you've got a series of slots one and two slots there 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 and there and this front flat piece of plastic it's all only ever flat plastic don't get me wrong there's no curved plastic where they've heated it and bent it or anything like that so this these this front piece where it's got the slots hooks up over over those hooks you can see there and we're going to unhook this one right okay there we go so i've just taken the front off there and now you've got full access to all of your models and all of the shelves. Um, now I've chosen a clear, a clear backing for for my uh, for my uh, uh, shelving here for my cabinet. You can get mirror, or perhaps there are other options too. Um, so you can see, um, I mean, here's my collection of personal cars that I've owned almost, although I haven't owned this uh, CX here. I've owned basically one of all the rest, uh, maybe more to come in a separate video. In fact, if you see anything in this video in terms of model cars you'd like me to talk about and review, then please do. There's a load of Spark model cars, some Mini Champs, and a load of HPI model cars here. Um, and I've bunged some bonus items on the top. My old Cherry Coke 1980-something Olympic Games can, which is empty. I did drink it at the time. Uh, a fully packaged Citroen C6 because I own one of those and um, you will have seen the, the review of this Rocket Bunny RX-7. Okay so um, in a minute I'll take you to the specking process uh, but let's look a bit more about at the, um, the way you build this. So if we go to the back you see the back plate and you see there it's got a, um, a hole for hanging this from the wall so you can actually hang this whole assembly from the wall and these these uh, side pieces here you'll see have um, have bits protruding out the back and then um, they uh, you put these little pegs oh that peg goes that way pegs coming through to keep it together so there's no glue no screws it's just pegs and holes and uh, and that in fact let me get a better view of that peg okay hopefully there you've got a better view of the peg a bit up from the mini there the yellow mini but behind at the back of it okay one of the advantages of having a clear back to the shelf is that you can backlight your shelf so since the last scene in this video I've turned on these uh, decorative clear lights here colorless lights white lights and um, already I had on at the back if we see there I've got 
a fluorescent tube light which is also projecting upwards just to give us some backlighting as you can see there so um, quite advantageous to have that of course if you had this up in the air you'd have more light from the bottom or potentially I could mount it on a, um, a silver foil uh, a silver foil to reflect some extra light oh while we're here um, I've got a spare piece of perspex there with my 100 trillion dollar note in it uh, you can google that if you want more info um, now I'll just mention while I'm here my um, my case that I built before before buying this Sora shop one I built my own case and this is made up of five millimeter thick perspex seven identical pieces I designed myself so that you could take seven identical pieces 400 millimeters by 410 millimeters and basically you could make a virtually sealed box out of it but where the back of the box at the other end there is is unsealed so i can pull this away from the wall and i'll have access to the model cars and the only problem with the 400 by 410 design is that there's a little gap on each of the shelves in the top and bottom on the back along there but I can, you can obviously seal that up with something else to stop the dust getting in. But that's quite an efficient way of ordering seven identical pieces of plastic from a purveyor of uh, perspex or acrylic sheet. And then just uh, using acrylic cement which basically melts the acrylic and you bond it together. I did it without any jig which uh, was tricky and of course you don't want it to... Uh, well, anyway got it in there but uh, the rough the the edges were rough on the cuts that I had been given but uh, and again there's more model cars there which I've got reviews of all of those cars already in my back catalog of videos so do subscribe and uh, have a look at those right let's see if we can put this front face back on so I'm trying to do it one-handed and I've managed to do that successfully so Oh, oh no, almost. There we go, that one wasn't quite over. And in fact, these bottom ones aren't either. So I'm going to put this down and uh, do that myself now. And now we'll move on to specking it on the Sora Shop website. Right, so here is the sorashop.com website. And uh, there's the domain name, sora-shop. Uh, link in the description. And uh, this is their home page I believe is it no oh, yeah okay so I don't know why their home page looks particularly like this anyway suffice to say they've got a, a big range of products so single item cases uh, made to measure display cabinet that's what I've got uh, boxing glove case football ca uh, case um, CD display rack guitar pick case golf ball case turntable cover figures, model figures, um, slot car case for 30 second scale slot cars. Uh, I've got a friend with one of these, or actually he's got two or three of these, he's very happy with them. Uh, CD rack, model railway, so my friend with the uh, slot car cases also has model railway uh, display cases, he's very happy with up on the wall in his hallway, and uh, so on. So there's a good variety. We're interested in the made to measure cabinet display cabinet so let's look at customized products and um, there's a variety here that you can have staircase golf balls um, we need the made to measure display cabinet let's click on that one and go through to it right so price is starting at 23 euro and you can configure the product so um, we uh, we can then so if I change the width it will change the price as well um, or in this case that might be a minimum price so let's go up in width to 50 and it's gone up to 30 euros so this shop is in Germany by the way so uh, you'll be paying in euros um, uh, I'm in England but of course we're still part of the European Union until the end of this year till the end of 2020 but we've never had their currency but it does make it nice and easy because there's no customs tariffs so bear in mind 
you've got to add shipping costs and custom tariffs to this to get to your to your amount. Now, I've got an email here from when I made the order, so I'll put that on screen now. By the way, you want to be watching this in full HD, 1080, okay? Because um, that's how I filmed this section of screen capture. So uh, I've got this uh, email here, and it says that I've got the width of my order was 64 centimeters. It was 20 centimeters deep, front to back, and 50 centimeters high. Uh, tall uh, and it had two columns five shelves transparent with front panel so when it says transparent that's the back so let's have a look uh, we can let's go to the back panel I can expand that section so you can have black or reflective I get confused by reflective seeing more model cars behind my actual model cars where they're just inverted versions of my model car because it's just a reflection so I like transparent and it means you can backlight it as well, which is useful if you're keeping your models and your display case away from sunshine, which you definitely should do. So earlier in the video, that uh, area where I've got my, my case, it's got two very small windows and the, the case is well away from those. Right, okay, so I'm ordering with a front panel. You want to keep the dust off and it does seal to the, you know, to the outside very well there's only you know very small gaps uh, really there's because the plastic is resting against the plastic so there's really nothing there so dimensions so if I go to what I did I would put 64 in there um, I would put depth 20 in there and notice please increase the number of columns to prevent the shelves from sagging so they're not going to let you produce something that doesn't really meet their quality criteria. So um, let's just add up the columns to two, which is what I ordered mine with, and the shelves to five. So the number of shelves combined with the height will give you the height of each little compartment. So you'll need to take the size of your vehicles into account, how much headroom do you need for them and you also, it's not just a matter of fitting the models, you want to be able to look at the models easily without the models on the layer above, on the shelf above getting in the way. So um, I did like my height of 15, if you're only ever going to have 43rd you could go smaller perhaps. So um, I actually designed mine in Corel Draw by using uh, a floor, plan, a floor plan kind of layout where I could put rectangles of model cars. I'll show you that in a moment. Okay, so I've spec'd it up here. Um, what have I done wrong? So, height 15. No, height. Height, I need to be at 50. Okay, because it wasn't going to let me have 15 because I had too many shelves to fit into 15. Uh, uh, total height of 15. Right, so there's mine. So do play around with those. And it's a matter of, for me, it was a matter of maximising the number of cars I could display well against the price. So really there's a price per car. And um, I'll uh, tell you about that price per 43rd scale car in a minute. Now when I bought this, I paid 90 British pounds sterling, um, which included... Um, VAT but didn't include the postage so I paid a total of £100.28 so at the moment uh, you're talking about €112 Euros, so probably a similar amount of dollars American dollars and you're talking about maybe £125 British pounds sterling okay so there you go what I'm going to do now is show you the the Corel Draw plans that I did to help me determine these dimensions but before we go to the uh, Corel Draw schematics, I just want to explain how I came up with some of these dimensions here. So I went to a width of 64 because if I went to 65, it complained and said I needed more columns. Now because I'm not putting heavy objects on there, having a minimal number of columns was fine. So going for a total width of 64 with two columns was 
the widest I could get with the minimum of columns. Every column you add to the design adds extra cost. So I wanted to get as much width for as few columns. Uh, so that was quite important. Depth, um, I could have gone up in depth and it would have put up the price, but I chose depth based on what I was visually willing to put in front and put behind. I didn't want too deep, so you'd struggle to see the model cars back there. Okay, um, so really that that's an important one, the uh, width to columns ratio. You want to maximise the width for the minimum number of columns. Of course, if I'd gone to four columns, I could have probably gone up to 128 width. No, not there. Let's try five columns. No. Six columns. Seven columns. Okay, I'm not sure why it's... Okay, please reduce it. Okay, so it's telling me I can't exceed 100. So if I go to 100, which is the maximum width, then I can get away with... No, I can't even get away with three columns. I have to have four columns which is less than ideal, so really I'd go for three columns and then it would be something like 80 width, okay that will accept 80, 85, it'll accept 85, 88, doesn't, yeah, does as well, 90, 95, it didn't mind that either, 99, okay 99 is too far, so 96, it won't do, so 95, is as wide as you can go with just three columns and bearing in mind you only get up to a hundred in width 100 centimeters in width but you'd have to add an extra column just for the five extra centimeters which really isn't worth it so um, either go for a 95 with three columns or as I did a 64 with two columns okay so switching now to Corel Draw so here we are in Corel Draw, and um, you'll really want to be at full HD watching this or higher because otherwise these thin lines will disappear and you won't see them very well. So what you see here is lots of boxes with boxes inside. Uh, there's a box that represents a typical 18th scale car and there are three boxes inside it of typical 43rd scale cars. So I could see, okay, I can either put an 18th scale or, a, or three 40 thirds, um, reasonably arranged. Um, now, in terms of the shelf or the compartment sizes in the Shura case, once I'd got to my 64 width of the total thing, I could work out, um, in fact it probably tells me on the display what the, uh, it tells me the size of each compartment. Let's switch to that now. Yeah, so going back to the specification page for your custom cabinet, they work out these things. Inside shelf height, inside shelf width, and the number of compartments. And those things depend on these things that you set. The width, height, depth, shelves, columns. So for that, these are my, that's my order, what I wanted. And that tells me it, I get 10 compartments and it tells me my inside shelf width of 29.7 centimeters and my inside shelf height of 8.8 .8. and if I look over here it will tell me that the number I'm entering for the depth is actually the inside depth so, you're, so I've set a depth of 20 that's the inside depth of one of the compartments so actually the the whole total cabinet is actually going to be deeper than that. So that's the shelf depth. Okay, so uh, they've got loads of extra information on doing it, some hints, uh, how to go about it, steps one to nine, some technical details, some examples of different things you can do. So do take your time, it's really important to get this right. Okay, I'm obviously not going to take responsibility for any decisions you make that might have been based on the facts I'm giving you. Uh, it's possible I've made mistakes in what I'm saying. But uh, So do, uh, do do that. And I notice here, delivery time, three to five work days. I presume that's for German customers in Germany or customers in Germany and still available despite Corona because obviously we're in the pandemic at the moment in April 2020. Okay, 
Right, let's go back to the Corel Draw uh, mock-ups. So, taking the output of the Sora Shop specification tool, we can set your compartment width and your compartment depth, and then you can draw that as a box in Corel Draw or on a piece of paper, and then you can start playing around with other boxes, which will be the size of your cars, and popping them in. So. Uh, I've done a selection there, trying to figure out for a given compartment size how many cars I can put in. Now that's clearly not the compartment size that I've ended up with. Um, let's have a look down here. Yeah, okay, so it could be um, these perhaps, but I've copied and pasted some of the specs into here and uh, played around. So as you can see, you can get 18 scale. This isn't as wide as the actual compartment I've ended up with, but uh, you see what I mean there. And you can do that with pieces of paper or card if you want. If you don't want to do it in Corel Draw, you can cut out some pieces that are the sizes you need. Okay, well, um, um, thanks for watching, and uh, do uh, enter any questions about this in the uh, comments below, and I'll do my best to give answers. There'll be a link to Shore Shop. Sora shop in the description so you can make some orders of your own and uh, good luck with uh, your build. Thanks for watching. Do like this video and subscribe to the channel and do have a look back at uh, my other videos of model car reviews including there's a playlist of model car reviews for this channel. Thank you. Bye.